Hey guys, it's Joan here, back. Back with a beer review once again. Um, and this one's um, been waiting in the stockpile for a while. Um, I finally get round to it. This one is the Southfield Hop from uh, the Bristol Beer Co. or Beer Factory. This is a bad boy. This one is uh, 6.5, 6.5. Um, and it's unchill filtered, unpasteurized, un, un everything. Um, and it does contain some wheat malt, so I'm told, so it might be a little bit cloudy. It's in a 500, very, very simple, um, kind of, you've got a few sort of studs here at the bottom, um, and just a real plain cap, no writing or anything on there. Um, not sure about the colouring of it, but I quite like the simpleness of the logo. That looks like um, straight off a, a t-shirt or something like that, and if we put around here it is a Seba winner 2012 so should be good guess what he says dropping the old lady on the floor this one's an IPA now I've de, um, degassed it um, because as I say I've had it a while over a year this beer so nice let us see what we get Nice pale colour. Yeah, a tiny bit of um, kind of haze already. Well, I don't think it's bottle condition. Oh, no, it is. I can see some stuff. So I shall leave it there. Yeah, a little bit cloudy. Can just about see through there. Quite nice carbonation. Look at those, uh, look at those bubbles. Um, head forming. Not really. That is, I'd say, about a quarter of a finger. Give it a little bit of a chance there. But yeah, nice colour. Sort of amber, amber colour. Oh, it's an IPA and an half. <laughs> oh, I'm getting that floral. I'm getting that kind of little bit of fruity, little bit of kind of passion fruit, but also I'm getting that kind of Ooh, a cascadey centennial kind of thing going on. Yeah, it's it's that kind of it's that kind of bubble gummy kind of yeah, sort of peachiness, you know. Look at that, the head has gone more or less already. Kind of a little bit sticking to the side of the glass, which you get from uh, reasonably strong beers. Um not strong for our American brothers and sisters, um, but yeah, six and a half percent beer for uh, over here in Britain is reasonably unusual. Uh, not unheard of, and especially not on this channel, because I like the stronger beers. Let's go in for a taste. Oh, very smooth. Oh, there comes through the punch. Wow. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. I'm getting that kind of bubblegummy taste, so I'm almost sure that um, this has got Centennial in. Well, I don't think it says... Uh, no, it just says massive hop character. Well, yeah. Definitely. And as I'm led to believe, this has uh, both wheat and barley malt in. Um, probably why well, it's got that small, slight cloudiness to it. And yeah, it's kind of passion fruity. So something else in there, perhaps a Simcoe. Or something like that. I would have said because it's an American sourced IPA, uh, they've gone for Cascade. Um, but no, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure it's Centennial. In, it, mm. Centennial in that bad boy. Six and a half, and I'm anyone's, eh? That is an absolutely lovely beer. Little bit too hoppy for me. I mean, the um, the Alfrafs is pretty high on this bad boy, but it's still quite easy drinking. Um, 
I'd say it's quite high in IBUs, sort of 50, over 50 at least. Um, so it is, oh, it is a good American IPA style, and it masks the alcohol quite well because of that punchiness um, coming from all the alpha and beta acids. Um, yeah, the 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 six point five percent is kind of very very well hidden, and you don't get that kind of warm warmness on the on the palate um, that you might do otherwise. You know, if you if you drink a beer, especially on a cold day and it's summertime, so easy drinking for me. Um, but you get that kind of warmness of the alcohol on your breath because it's evaporating it inside your mouth, uh, and you're kind of breathing out that alcohol. Doesn't happen with this. I think this is a beer that you could easily easily get in trouble with, um, and as I say, quite a good uh, example of a style. Have a look in there, not so much lacing, but because it's a, a higher alcohol content, you're definitely getting that sort of uh, oiliness that's uh, allowing some of the residual um, the residual bubbles, the residual foam sticking to the glass. I'm quite liking this. Next time I'm up visiting my uh, my friend Jim, if he's, uh, if he's listening to this, Southfield Hop British Beer Factory, you could do a lot worse than getting a few of these in if you want to impress your friends when you're over there in uh, in Bristol um, which is a, a very historic city over here in the UK I suggest you go over there it's quite a cool place to go they've got some fantastic ciders as well let's go in for one more hit and then we'll call it a day yeah so it's that aroma that's hitting the taste buds up front, followed by that huge hit of bitterness, followed by a nice smooth, yeah, I'd say sort of new world fruits, um, passion fruit, plus a little bit of that kind of peachiness with that bubblegum twang that is Centennial, it's one of my favorite hops of all time. Um, you could do a lot worse than getting some of this. If you see it, get a couple of bottles of this, First one is for Uncle Jonah, second one you can enjoy in a darkened room and get slapped around the face with that punchiness of the American IPA style. Guys, this has been Uncle Jonah. I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. Um, if you have, why not click like and subscribe down below? Otherwise, you might miss a beer that you really enjoy. Um, and we'll come back real soon for more beer. Cheers and beers, guys. Oh!